Let's head out to South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, where Ole Miss is coming to town. It's going to be a fun one, and the Gamecocks have a couple important flip targets on campus. Yeah, absolutely. And if they have the same kind of environment that they had for the game against LSU, these recruits are going to remain excited about the South Carolina Gamecocks. And many of them were at the LSU game. Now they're returning, hoping to watch South Carolina knock off a, a top 25 team in Ole Miss. You have Damola Ajidahun. He's uh, on 300, top 100 recruit, currently committed to Georgia Tech, six foot six, 295 pound offensive tackle. Uh, that's coming back with his family after coming to the game against uh, LSU with his coaches. His coach has got a connection to George Rogers. George Rogers, a legendary player at South Carolina, won the 1980 Heisman Trophy. I believe he was the first pick in the NFL draft. He definitely has a statue of himself outside williams Bryce Stadium. So there's some South Carolina ties around DeMola as he returns to campus here. South Carolina's been on him for a long time. So they're definitely one of the threats to flip him from Georgia Tech along with Georgia and Ohio State. Another offensive lineman committed to Georgia Tech that's visiting this weekend is Jimmy Bryson out of Chattanooga Baylor School. He talked about loving the atmosphere, coaches, and chemistry at South Carolina amongst that program. Malik Clark was committed to Florida State when he originally put himself on the South Carolina visitor list. He is no longer committed to Florida State. South Carolina's got a chance to really close this class strong and finish with a number top 25 haul because I like where they stand with Malik Clark coming into the weekend. There's going to be other schools like Colorado coming in here, trying to convince Malik Clark to come out there late. And Donovan Murph, I think that they're the leader for Donovan Murph right now, who reclassified from yeah, 2026 to 2025. Donovan Murph's going to take some officials. But South Carolina is setting the tone for both of them right now. And this is just a big opportunity for them to capitalize on the field uh, and, and, and then there's two JUCO defensive linemen visiting this weekend that are very notable, Kelton Michael, Michael and, and, and Xavier Hardy. Xavier Hardy at one point was committed to South Carolina when he was in high school, and those are, are, are two pivotal instant, um, instant impact type players for South Carolina to, to keep it rolling moving forward. But a lot of excitement around this program. They would have beat LSU without some key injuries at some key positions. In my opinion, that Saturday, we'll see how healthy they are uh, going into going into this game against Ole Miss. But we know that that atmosphere is going to deliver. Shane Beamer and company are doing a fantastic job of building great relationships. Many of their top 2026 20, targets, Akini Ogboko, Samari Matthews, uh, uh, Jordan Gidrin, the number one player in the state, will be on campus this weekend. Treshawn Ruffin's a defensive lineman. They're in a good spot for in-state running back Jalen McGill. They can start stacking top 25, top 20 classes if they win games like this because no program's coaching staff works harder on the trail. This one, this, this team, Shane Beamer Company, they bust their butts on the trail building meaningful relationships. They have some resources and infrastructure to be a contender in some of these blue chip battles. These are the pivotal games that help you gain a lot of inches in some of these blue chip battles. Beat Ole Miss on Saturday. We'll be talking a lot about South Carolina over the next two months, Josh, on Wilt Farm Whip around an inside scoop if they do that. Yeah, and Ole Miss comes in limping a little bit. This is one that South Carolina could get at home, and it would have a big impact in, on recruiting.